Welcome everyone, and thanks for watching this Washita Christmas special. I'm Tyler Rosenthal, I'm a Washita graduate turned staff member, and I'm so excited for this virtual Christmas special we put together just for you guys. Now, as many of you may know, we plan for an abbreviated fall semester this year at Washita with on-campus learning ending at Thanksgiving. But we couldn't let this Christmas season pass without celebrating together, even from home. So we created an all-star lineup of talented Washita alumni, faculty, staff, and students to help us create this virtual Washita Christmas special. To set the stage, let's start off with none other than the Christmas song performed by 2016 Washita graduate Jake Briggs. As a student, Jake performed in numerous ensembles, frequently led worship on campus, and was the Tiger Tunes host. Jake now works as a student worship pastor at Fellowship Little Rock. Kicking us off in an impressive fashion, here's Jake Briggs. Wow, thanks Jake, he's so talented, right? You can listen to more of Jake's music by streaming albums published by Fellowship Music, Fellowship Student Worship, and his former band, Brothers and Company, which started in his suite at Washita. Now, if you attended here, you know how talented the Washita community is. We've had alumni on Broadway, become award-winning singers and songwriters, tour with artists like Katy Perry, and even co-write top worship songs like Reckless Love. In fact, some even joke that singing may be required for your acceptance to Washita. While that is not true, don't, don't worry, we do have talent on every corner of campus, even though many don't even work in the music field. For example, our next song is performed by Keneal Purifoy, one of our university counselors and resident directors. Keneal is a valuable part of the campus community in many ways, and we consider ourselves lucky anytime we get to hear him play and sing. Performing my personal favorite Christmas song, Here's This Christmas. Oh, 
fun is gonna be together. Show Christmas for me. Yeah. Put your hands together. Presents and calls are here. My word is filled with cheer with you. Shine the town to do this Christmas. The fire side is blazing bright. We're caroling through the night, and this Christmas will be very special Christmas for me. Yeah. Oh, And Neil, so good, right? Now, we have heard reports of an interesting holiday sighting on campus, and thankfully, we were able to catch it on camera. You may know him as a mean one and a sneaky Christmas thief. Yep, that's right, it's the Grinch. Let's watch to see what mischief he was up to on campus recently.
Our next performer is one many of you have heard of. 2002 Washita graduate and Arkansas native Bonnie Montgomery is a classically trained opera singer by day and a country queen by night. She wrote the folk opera Billy Blythe about Bill Clinton's youth in Hot Springs, which earned accolades from The New Yorker and The Huffington Post, and her second full-length album, Forever, earned praises from Pace Magazine for its timeless songwriting. Bonnie was also awarded the title of 2020 Entertainer of the Year at the Arkansas Country Music Awards, titles of Best Americana Artist and Best Female Vocalist at the 2018 Arkansas Country Music Awards, and can also be seen in an upcoming virtual Christmas concert with the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra. Take it away, Bonnie. Thanks, Bonnie. We now have a special performance for you guys. Dr. Mary Chung is one of our piano professors at Washita and is a renowned musician who has toured both nationally and internationally. She is one of the most beloved professors here and has a big impact on campus. Here with a special piano arrangement of a top Christmas hit, please welcome Dr. Mary Chung.
Wow, thanks, Dr. Chung. I'm not sure I've heard Mariah Carey done quite like that. We appreciate it. Now, history professor at Washita and voice of Tiger Nation, Dr. Casey Modal is out on the street getting all the answers to Christmas's most pressing questions. Let's watch. All right, Tiger Nation, I'm standing outside the stew trying to determine the level of Christmas literacy up in her. We need some Christmas spirit in this pandemic. Let's go find some. Preston Crowder, stop right here. The question of Christmas questions for both of you gentlemen, there is a right answer. Die Hard, great Christmas movie or the greatest Christmas movie? The greatest Christmas movie. Okay. The greatest Christmas movie is definitely Christmas Vacation, so it's just great Christmas. <laughs> All right, let's just cut that off. Everybody seems to be walking away from me. I want you to name all of Santa's reindeer. <laughs> you have Dancer, Dasher, Dancer, Rudolph. Uh, I don't know. Don't record this, please. <laughs> that ship has sailed, brother. Get all these beautiful people. Which is best, gold, frankincense, or myrrh? Uh, gold? Wrong answer, sister. It's myrrh. It's always myrrh because it helps condition your skin. Come on in here. You ready to answer a Christmas trivia question? Okay, are you a fan of the movie Elf? Oh, which one? Moving on. I need someone out here who knows the movie Elf. What is the name of the elf in the movie Elf that is the only movie named Elf? Buddy the Elf. That's it. Who's up for some Christmas cheer? What were Frosty the Snowman's last words? <laughs> I'm melting. That was the Wicked Witch of the West and Wizard of Oz. This looks really important. Mini project, the other half of the assessment for the coding process. We're doing Christmas early here at Washita in 2020 because it is 2020 and nothing makes sense. So, which reindeer's name is also the name of a kitchen abrasive cleanser? Comet. There it is. Hook my man up. Shout out for Spawn! Woo! Christmas genius! Don't you run, don't you run! I would say I'm dreaming of a white Christmas myself, but it's Arkansas, who are we kidding? All right, I have the perfect folks to ask questions about. Who is rumored to have stolen Christmas? Don't look at me. The Grinch? Was <laughs> it the Grinch? It is the Grinch. She got it. I don't know how you came to the conclusion that the Grinch was the one that stole Christmas when there are absolutely no indicators of that anywhere in the building. What are they doing? They're going up some sort of concrete maze. What I'd like for you to do is to sing just a few verses of your favorite Christmas tune. Do you need to commiserate on your favorite Christmas tune or are you telepathic? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! All right, it's not your best performance, dog, but I still like it. I still like it. Merry Christmas to you both. What Christmas song contains the lyric to see if reindeer really know how to fly? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire? That's not the name of the song, but that's another lyric from the same song. You're close, girl. So close. Get there. It's called the Christmas song. It's literally the Christmas song. Oh, my gosh. I can't take it out of here. All right, Tiger Nation, Christmas cheer early at Washita. You've just seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. Clearly some of our students are ready to savor the birthday of our Lord and Messiah. Some a little bit more jaded by the commercial activity, but either way, there's a clear hunger for the Jingle Bells. This is Dr. Modal, peace out. Next up, we have incredible vocalist Kayla Jackson. Kayla is a 2017 Washita grad who studied musical theater, performed in many ensembles and productions, received numerous vocal recognitions, was a Tiger Tunes host, and worked as a cast member at Disney World. Her voice can be heard as the lead vocalist on the Washita Singers album, Sing Me to Heaven, as well as the theme song for Washita's Tiger for Life alumni podcast. Performing an acapella arrangement of God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, here's Kayla Jackson. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort. 
Amazing. I think we could all use a whole choir of Kayla's more frequently in our lives. Thanks, Kayla. Our next duo is known and loved by many Washingtonians. It's Corey and Stephanie Epps. Corey and Stephanie are both 2012 Washita grads, were refuge worship leaders, and performed as Tiger Tunes hosts. Corey is now a worship leader at First Baptist Rogers, and both of them can be heard on their original worship EP, Greater Still, as well as their Christmas EP, Love Has Come to Save. Here, along with a very special guest, are Corey and Stephanie Epps. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Okay, that was great, but I think we all know who stole the show on that one. Baby MJ, so cute. Thanks, guys. Now, our next guests are a group we all know and love who have represented Washita so well over their incredible career. It's no other than Point of Grace. It truly is amazing that one of the most popular Christian music groups of all time started right here at Washita over 25 years ago. They have sold over 8 million recordings, earned three Grammy nominations, won over 10 Dove Awards, received countless accolades and recognitions, and have made a lasting impact on the contemporary Christian music industry. Thank you for joining us, Point of Grace.
Merry Christmas, everyone. It's Point of Grace. And we just want to say a big hello to all our Washita family, past and present. We are so honored to be a part of this evening. Yes, one of our very, very favorite memories touring as a group at Christmas is when we got to sing in front of the amazing university singers just a few years ago back at Washita. They are incredible. They always have been and they still are. And we hope that you will enjoy this rendition of Silent Night. We did it a cappella. As a matter of fact, it is on our brand new, first time we've ever done a DVD Christmas special. It's out right now. It's entitled A Point of Grace Christmas. We hope you'll enjoy it. We love you guys. Merry Christmas. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin mother and child. That was so good. Thank you again for being a part of this Point of Grace. Be sure to watch their full Christmas special, A Point of Grace Christmas, featuring songs, stories, special guests, and behind the scenes footage from the road. That'll be a fun one for sure. Next up, we have a beautiful song performed by Washita Worship. Washita Worship is the university worship band that leads our weekly chapel services, tours to churches, and is available for booking at events and retreats. You can find more of Washita Worship on Washita's YouTube channel. Singing Hark, here's Washita Worship.
Thanks guys, beautiful job. Keep a lookout for Washita Worship's original worship EP coming soon. Now we couldn't let this Christmas special happen without a word acknowledging the true reason we celebrate Christmas. So joining us now, we have Dr. Danny Hayes. Dr. Hayes is the Dean of Washita's Pruitt School of Christian Studies and is a world-renowned author and theologian. We have been extremely blessed to have him at Washita for nearly 30 years. Following Dr. Hayes, we will hear a special song from Cheney Campbell, a sophomore music major here at Washita, who recently had the opportunity to open for American Idol runner-up, Clark Beckham. Please welcome Dr. Danny Hayes. For many of us like me, the Christmas season brings back such happy and fond memories of our childhood. I was an Air Force kid, so growing up we moved around quite a bit and I attended church in quite a number of different uh, Air Force chapels. But my dad was the chaplain, so one thing I had was the same preacher everywhere we went. Uh, and one of the things that dad had that I really remember with such fond memories is these wonderful Christmas Eve candlelight services. And we had the same service every year while I was growing up. Uh, but dad would have these services where we'd bring everybody together. And for a, for a small kid uh, growing up, these services, the candlelight service would culminate and climax these growing uh, weeks of anticipation and expectation as you thought about Christmas and got excited about Christmas and had this anticipation of Christmas, then it all climaxed in this fun candlelight service. And of course we had real candles back in those days. Uh, and it would culminate in that, uh, that candlelight service and then we'd have the real thing and then Christmas would follow up. Now, of course, Dad would, uh, was similar to what many of you would see in your candlelight services. He'd read some scripture and then we would uh, sing a song that went along with that scripture. But Dad would always start in the Old Testament and he would share some of these Old Testament prophecies that were predicting and promising this coming Messiah. And what he was trying to do there was to recreate this hope, this longing, this expectation, this anticipation uh, that the Messiah was coming. And it was paralleled somewhat to what was going on in the audience as we had gathered there with this hope and growing expectation of the coming Messiah. So usually, of course, he started in Isaiah 7, and he would start with there, for the Lord himself will give you a sign, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. And then dad would explain that Emmanuel means God with us, that God was coming back to be with us. And then he'd slide right over to chapter nine on the expansion of this coming child. This is a special child that's coming. And in Isaiah nine, it says, for to us a child is born, a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders and he will be called this child that's so special. He will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. And then at this time, of course, we would sing the song, O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lonely exile here until the Son of God appears. And then the excitement of Christmas Day, rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel shall come to you, O Israel. And then, of course, Dad would move into the New Testament and in Matthew chapter one, after the Holy Spirit has come upon Mary and she's uh, with child, then they tell us that this coming child that Mary has will also be named Emmanuel, that this is the child that Isaiah had promised uh, so long ago. This was the child for the hope and the longing and the expectation, the one that's called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. And so Emmanuel comes, Jesus comes, the Savior of the world comes, and this theme of Emmanuel, God with us, runs throughout the Gospels and runs throughout the Gospel of Matthew. In fact, at the end of the book, at, at, as, as Jesus leaves at the Ascension, the last words he gives to us in Matthew's Gospel is, and lo, I'm with you always to the end of the age. So it opens with this coming of Emmanuel, God with us, and the Gospel of Matthew ends with this promise of God's presence to be with us. Jesus said, I'll be with you always to the end of the age. So for us, when we sing these songs of anticipation, as we go to uh, Christmas Eve uh, candlelight services, as we watch wonderful programs like the Festival of Christmas, and as our excitement grows through the songs and the sounds uh, and all of the joyful things in the Christmas season, our growing excitement anticipation is a memory 
It's a celebration of the memory of the hope and the expectation that this Messiah was coming, the Savior of the world. So we are no longer living in the time where we have to look expectantly to the coming of the Messiah. We're no longer singing that part of the song that says, O come, O come, Emmanuel. We're now in the part that says, rejoice, rejoice that Emmanuel has come. The Savior has come. He does live among us and with us. And he leaves us with this wonderful promise that says, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. The first Noel, the angels did say, was to certain poor shepherds and Thank you, Dr. Hayes, and thank you, Cheney. The last song we have for you is a continuation of celebration and reverence for that beautiful and sacred night that the King of Israel, Jesus Christ, was born. Singing their exquisite version of O Holy Night, It's Hebron Road, a trio from Prestonwood Baptist Church composed of two Washita grads, Rick Briscoe and Alan Monk, as well as Alan's son, Jared. Take it away, guys. Joyce. 
praises for yonder grace, a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel. Wow, that was incredible. Thank you, guys. You can catch Hebron Road and Preston Wood's Christmas special, as well as in more music coming from Preston Wood Baptist Church. We want to thank you for joining us for this unique Washita Christmas special. And thanks to all of the Washingtonians who played a part in putting this together. To close us, we have Dr. Ben Sells, president of Washita, and a special holiday greeting from some of our students. Thank you for watching this Washita Christmas special. Only 20% of the country's universities are fully in person like Washita. Our students, with help from faculty and staff, did an extraordinary job during the fall. And we so look forward to welcoming our students back in January.
when we switched to remote learning last March, we paused on asking for any gifts because your lives too were affected by the pandemic. Instead, we provided updates through the summer and said we would ask when we knew more. We now know more. We began the fall reporting our highest enrollment in 20 years and our highest ever graduation rate. At the same time, 25% of our students told us that their families had a loss of income. We responded with some one-time scholarships. To be fully in person, we also made a significant financial investment to protect our campus community. As a result, for the first time in my presidency, I'm asking all who care for Washita to consider an additional one-time gift, or maybe your first gift, to the Washita Cornerstone Fund. We've increased our annual goal for this fund from $1 million to $1.5 million to help with the one-time scholarships and the one-time cost related to the pandemic. Thank you for your consideration. Lisa and I and the Washita Baptist University family wish you a Merry Christmas as we celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. God became flesh and He is indeed with us. Merry Christmas! Feliz Navidad! Chúc mừng Giáng sinh! Feliz Natal! This time we call it Merry Christmas! And uh... Happy New Year! From Washita Baptist University!